Hi, today we're going to look at a figure that's inspired by the great Max Roach. Now Max was really well known as a melodic drummer. He uses toms and snare drum, really tuned tight, and he worked between these a lot to create fantastic melodies, particularly in his solos. So what I've done is I've taken a little figure that has been attributed to Max and then developed it a little bit and I'll hope to show you some applications of it. So, let's start straight away with the figure. Really simple rhythm. It's triplets and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. What could be easier? But now what we do is distribute that figure around the toms. So let's break down the figure a little bit more. We think of the first section as da 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 which repeats, and then the second section is just a whole bar of triplets. Da 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 and then we repeat the first section again. Da 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 da. Okay, so the first section is distributed around among the drums. We're gonna lead with our left hand, and we're gonna go two, three, two. Two, three, two, leading with the left hand in triplets. Let's have a listen. One, two, three, four. Again. Easy. Two. Two, three, two. Easy figure. Now the second section, which I said was all triplets, the sticking is going to be two, three, three, two, two. Takes 12 strokes. Two, three, Three, two, two. Let's hear it. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. I'm going to repeat it round and round. One, I'll put my bass from four on the floor. One, Okay, so let's hear the whole complete pattern. So remember, as I said, it's da 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 Okay, slowly, bass drum four beats in the bar, hi hat on two and four. is written out for you you can download it as a pdf i have it in the usual spot in the info box so if you can't figure out what i'm doing from watching if you you'll see it written down now let's try that figure a little faster um it's a really good exercise for moving your hands around the drums in this direction because as right-handed drummers we tend to always lead around to the right but this is an excellent one for going in the opposite direction so let's just take the first part of it I get a duck and get down. Let's try a little faster. You see the movement going this direction. Again. Do it a little faster again. Again. Now, if you want to get it really up to speed, you've got to stay very relaxed. And also, you've got to think about throwing the sticks or throwing the arms in that direction. It's like a shape, letter L shape, relax, like vroom. one movement down to it, rather than thinking da da ba 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 ba. If you do that, you won't get the movement. This, of course, is only for the faster tempos or the faster exercises. Let's try it again, a little faster. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. Tongue twister. See how the arms feels like it moves? Relaxed. Let's 
Same thing will work if you try it with the middle section, which is the all triplets. You go two, three, three, two, two. Again, it's relaxed. Moving around. Move, I'll repeat it a couple of times. As you can see, it's a good exercise for moving this direction a little slower. Moving around the drums in this way. Now we can also break this pattern a little bit and play two, three, three. Like it's just eight strokes all together. This is a nice pattern for playing continuously around the drums in this direction. Since there's eight strokes and it works very well with sixteenths, I'm one E and a two E and a three E and a four E, and I'll put my bass from four on the bar, high up two and four, and play this figure as sixteenths. symbol is it went right left left instead of going right left right because that would have been a left hand lead which should work too but it's easier to finish by going right left or excuse me left right left right right left for the very last one triplets. Now that would be quite interesting because it's an eight stroke figure and there's 12 eighth note triplets in a bar. So where do eight and 12 meet? Mom, where is your maths? Of course the 24. Three eighths is 24 which is the same as two bars of triplets. So that means you would play this figure three times and will you arrive on the one of the third bar. We try it. So triplets, eight strokes, three times, one, two, three, four. See how I did the left left at the end again? Three, four. Excellent. This is a very nice little figure. You can start on your snare drum either. Again, leading with the left. Now you would have three, three, two. start on your floor tom but because you're starting on the floor tom if this one is the exception that you would leave with your right hand you go right left right left right left right left so as you can see the movement is anti-clockwise as against clockwise, which we're so used to doing. It's a great little figure. So, as I said, it's based on uh, some of the Max Roach ideas that he would play between his tom-toms, and he would use his bass drum, of course, quite a lot. If I may recommend a recording for Max Roach, it's Study in Brown, uh, with the great trumpet player Clifford Brown. Max gets a solo or breaks on every track, and they are a work of art in terms of melodic playing on the toms. So, as I said to you, this exercise is all broken down and written uh, out and uploaded there in a PDF form for you to take so you can take your time and look at it. Move it around the drums, put it into whatever context you want. It's a great exercise. See you next time.